crashes on this new road, including a crash that left a man in a coma. Crews have now installed signs like these warning of a stop sign ahead at the intersection of Metro Parkway Extension and Briarcliff Road. But some say those warning signs are not enough. They say it's going to take a traffic light to save lives and they're getting back up tonight. Four in the corner's Liza Fernandez showing you who's joining the fight for the light. Patrick, private groups, county commissioners, and state lawmakers are all getting in on this one in hopes of getting a traffic light sooner rather than later at the intersection of the new Metro Parkway extension and Briar Cliff Road. Many rallying for a traffic light at the intersection of Briar Cliff Road and the new Metro Parkway extension after Crossway Baptist Church pastor David Vanneman was critically injured here last Monday. Vanneman now in a coma after the driver of an SUV blindly drove into the intersection less than a day after the roadway had opened. I just have to tell you that we're going to see more deaths. There's no question. It is a speedway and it is a death trap for residents. Lee County Commissioners directing the Transportation Director to write a letter urging the state to hurry up and install a traffic light. For added safety, Lee County crews installing these signs on Tuesday, alerting both eastbound and westbound drivers on Briarcliff of the stop ahead. The state is already committed to start a traffic study in December to see if one's warranted, but some feel that's not soon enough. We can't tell them to do it, but uh, certainly uh, we've shared our concern. The intersection is in State Representative Matt Caldwell's district. He tells me he's meeting with the Florida Department of Transportation Secretary for Southwest Florida. Uh, myself and Senator Benacquisto both are trying to encourage them to move that process up and get that done sooner rather than later. Meanwhile, the Vanneman family holds vigil for their father's recovery and hopes action doesn't come too late. Our lives have been changed forever by this, and I wouldn't want anyone else to have to go through what we're going through right now. That traffic study is supposed to be completed in February. No word on whether pressure from the county and state lawmakers will expedite things at all. Live in the studio, Liza Fernandez, Fox 4, in your corner.